so many Muslims do not know that we have a long tradition of Muslim women qari'as. Women reciters of Quran and performers of Adhan and women heading Sufi tariqas is a tradition that goes back centuries. If you get away from the Arabian Peninsula and you understand that Islam is not just Arabia but Islam is the entire Ummah of Islam here to give you a headache is a partial name of Muslim female Qariyas Maghfira Hussain Shalwat Asayifa Pooja Swarma Farhatullah Fairuza Hajar Nasr Iman Talibi Asma Barur Zahra Hilma Halima Butrik Sharifa Khazif Fazlullah She's from Indonesia and she's amazing From Morocco Hajar Busaq The famous Jennifer Brown of course that most people know about Wafiq Aziza and closer to home, Medina Javed from Scotland, England. But even older than that, many people don't realize that Um Kalsum, the famous Um Kalsum, started out a reciter of Quran. And she left the field of reciting Quran to sing romantic songs, and I will say something about this in a second. But long before Um Kalsum, there was Sakina Hassan, Is Sheikha Hassanah, Is Sheikha Anwar Muhammad, a woman known as Sheikha Mabuka, who is very famous in Egypt, Is Sheikha Munira Abdu, currently Is Sheikha Layla Hassan, Is Sheikha Zahiya Sharkas. Is Sheikh Anwar Al Rifai? Is Sheikh Al Zahra Lai Hilmi? A Qari Am Farha Farah Am Shishu? A Qari Am Khadija Natwana? A Qari Am Khadija Azdad? And many, many more. The tradition of women. Quran reciters and Azan performers is very old. Very old. But the sad thing is the same Wahhabi Islam that vilified the idea of women reciting Quran or performing Azan. That's the same way Islam that is now opening up bars in Mecca. And instead, a woman, Qari'a, which they continue to vilify, they invite Nikki Manaj. Instead of Sheikh Amin Haj, they invite Nikki Manaj to come recite. Not the Quran, obviously. And invite Maria Carey. The Islam that has convinced you that a woman's voice is aura is the Islam that has betrayed you, but you remain stupid and ignorant. What is the whole thesis of a woman's aura voice as aura based on? A single solitary hadith that is unauthentic from every whichever way the prophet passing hears a woman singing with behind a window and tells her to stop singing because but with that you have numerous reports about the sahaba women teaching and speaking and a long traditions of women reciting quran and performing a then. But let me tell you what my problem is. 
When women recite Quran and do Adhan, they don't end up on radio stations. It is only men that are privileged by being broadcasted. Most recording companies don't want to record women or sell the recordings of women. So women who have the gift, what happens to them? Many of them do what Um Kalsum did. Eventually give up on reciting Quran and sing Bahibbat, I love you and you love me. Are you happy? Imagine with me if Um Kalsum remained the Quran reciter. With that amazing voice, if it would have remained in the service of the Quran, there was a woman who had a voice of the quality and timber of Um Kalsum. Her name was Sumayya Adib, an Egyptian woman. Ya Allah, when she read the Quran, your heart trembled. She got married, the next thing that happened, she married someone of those people that says woman's voice aura, she wore the niqab and no longer recites Quran in front of men. And in fact, on Facebook, pleaded with people to take down all her recordings because it is haram. That woman with a golden voice who could make hearts tremble out of love for Allah through her recitation now hides that gift. Is that rational? Is that aq? Is it aq to talk about a religion that wants half of the population of the world silent? How much aq do you need? to understand that it is not the Prophet ﷺ that silenced women. It is patriarchy. It is you same men who give the dislikes and write the comments. Authoritarian, insecure men whose ego is easily threatened by women who can look at you and say, I am your equal. The problem is in you. Your male ego is so fragile. I am sorry, but that's the truth. You have fragile egos. Say astaghfirullah and a'udhu billah min shaitan rajim and try to listen to some of the recitations of the women that I named. Someone like Hajar Busaq is an angelic voice. And see how she will make your heart move. When you listen to the Quran from the perspective of a female voice. Because that's part of Aq, the perspective of a female voice. The perspective of a female voice. We don't want another Um Kalsum that turns to love songs because no one will record her reading the Quran. We don't want another Sumayya Adib who wears the niqab and says, that's it, my voice is aura. We want to that the Akhli position that women have piety too. And women have a relationship with Allah too. And that some women, Allah has given them a beautiful voice that they can place in the service of Allah. And who are you to come and say, no, haram. And your haram is not based on anything other than the fatawa of the same people who are now betraying the Palestinians and betraying Mecca by building bars in Mecca and Medina. The religion of the intellect is surrounded with ignorance and irrationality. This is not, this is not right. And the solution starts with you. 
Stop being a male chauvinist. Stop being small-minded and ignorant. And make a commitment that your piety must shine upon humanity with reasonableness. Reasonableness and virtue.